Now, most of us have probably used a glitch effect in the past, and don't get me wrong, like they're nice and all, but they've been overused in the past, and they all look very similar. What if there was a way that would take that glitch effect to the next level? Well, do not worry, because this video is going to do exactly that. We're going to take your glitch effect from this to this. So my name is Billy Ripka, and I'm here to save you time and make your videos better. And also, this video is sponsored by SoundDraw. Stick around to the end to see how you can create music for your videos using AI. So my friends, step into my office. In DaVinci Resolve, we've got our footage on the timeline. Now, I want this glitch effect to actually show up behind her because that's just really what's going to look super cool. To do that though, we have to mask her out. Now you can create the mask inside of DaVinci Resolve and it will take some time, but if you don't know how to do that, I have a dedicated video that goes way more in depth on the actual topic. I'll link those in the description below. Now once the masking is done, what we're going to do from here is take this masked video and bring it to the third video layer like this. Then I'll grab the original footage and put it below on the second video layer like this. If you like learning cool effects and tricks, then hit the subscribe button because I am trying to hit 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're not yet, subscribe so that we can crush that goal. Now I'm gonna open up effects and select effects right here and then type in glitch. Then I'll grab the digital glitch and drag it to our footage just like this. Now if we just watch it, you'll see that this glitch is happening behind her. Obviously though, we don't want it to be like 45 seconds of just a glitch happening behind her. That's gonna be super annoying. So we're gonna have to cut some sections out. What I'm gonna do is go to auto track selector and turn it off. Then I'll make a cut on this clip right here and move over a few frames, then make another cut. Now I'll remove everything to the left right here as many times as I want to, to really just have this kind of glitch stutter effect going on. The problem now is while we have this cool strobe effect going on, as soon as I go off, you can see that the background removes. So I'll just go back to the media pool, grab the original footage, drag it onto video layer one again. So if I take a look at it, you can see that we have this really cool masking glitch effect going on that really not many people have actually done. Now, as you may know, I rarely do sponsored videos because most companies just don't have a good product or wouldn't be that helpful for you guys. When SoundDraw reached out to me and they told me what their product does and I actually saw it, I knew that this was gonna be something that actually helps you. SoundDraw is an AI-based software that allows you to, oh, oh, did you hear that? Start over. SoundRaw is an AI-based tool that allows you to create custom music for your videos in just a few clicks. You can choose from the mood, the genre, the length, and then the software will generate a track for you. If you like one of the songs, you can actually edit it using these buttons right here. The darker the block color, the more intense the music will be. And because you're creating the music yourself, you can use this on any type of project you want without any possibilities of copyright. So try it out for yourself today and get a seven day free trial by clicking the link in the description. And once again, thank you SoundDraw for sponsoring this video. Now, if you're looking to take your masking effects to the next level, I cover three more in this video right here. Click that video right now. Anyway, till the next one, peace.